Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so do you wonder what I do online are you asking yourself how do you get all these posts done online how do you get on LinkedIn on Facebook on Twitter on Instagram on Snapchat on Facebook uh, I already said that a blog post on YouTube and even on SoundCloud and Alexa and you know iTunes right so how do you do all those things every single day and you have a job and you have a family and you have you know a life right <laughs> you do that all, all over the places so I'm going to talk to you about how I do that what my daily process is so maybe you can replicate some of it you can see what I do and you can do you know like I said do the same thing so we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you might have seen some of my posts right I post on Instagram I post on Facebook I post on LinkedIn I post on YouTube I do a blog post and um I'm gonna start again but I mean in the past I've done that I sent to my email list I sent to mini chat list as well and now I'm also posting on Alexa and on SoundCloud for iTunes and for podcasts right so how do I do all that with uh, with the amount of time the the stuff that's going on right in my life I've got like I said I've got a family I've got a daytime job I work nine to five and after work there's there's you know meals there's uh, kids to go and putting kids to bed in the morning there's getting them ready even though right now we're in the in the you know stay at home mode we're still doing some education we're teaching them we're getting them to get dressed we're getting them to have breakfast with all this is all happening right now every single day so how do I have time to do all this one of the things is that I'm a bit of a geek I'm a programmer so I automate lots of stuff but even then I can show you what I do so first let me just share my screen here let me show you this document that I have right over here so basically what I did is I've been doing this like I said I've been doing this for a long time let me share my screen and the thing is that I've been doing this for a long time and I I've done lots of these things manually myself and that of course that's the first step you got to do this all manually you got to figure out how to do it you got to know how to post everywhere you got to know how to how to what the platforms need and that kind of stuff right so first of all and then after that I made up this list so you can kind of look at this I can kind of show you basically if you're listening to audio obviously you can't see my screen so I'm just going to read what it says here but basically this is my course income secrets new episode steps so every single day I do a new episode right so what do I do first I decide on the topic I got to decide on the topic and give it an episode number I, that's easy it's number plus one of the previous day kind of thing right I also have to I also set up a blog post uh, but it's not really a blog post but I'm creating a blog post but I also set up a link and that's in my uh in my um provider my internet service provider or my 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 domain hosting site I should say where I put a what what's called a CNAME or a URL redirect but anyways I I make it so that every single episode is CIS which is course income secrets with a number right and then johnsergangle.com then I update the OBS I use a tool called OBS we're going to show you right now I mean you're going to see some duplication but basically OBS is a tool that lets you uh, record your screen so I use OBS to record it as you can see the title is right there and you see it at the bottom of the screen as well and basically that's the that I just that's what I mean by that I update the topic then I record the video now recording the video it can be 15 to 30 minutes it's the amount of time I decide to record a video usually it takes me about that long right but I but the videos I'm doing because I want to do the the um the podcast and I also want to do a longer video and I want to do that I make it at least 15 minutes because some of the platforms are need needed to be shorter than that and there's uh, like Facebook and YouTube of course you can post a full length video right uh, up to four hours or something crazy right and but you know I'm not recording that long but I'd also don't want it to be uh, some of the platforms can't have it super long so I have to do the short version right so the next thing is I write up a blog post now I have currently I'm using a blog platform uh, but let me just show you let's go back here let me just show you the blog 
I mean if you've been to my blog you know that I have a blog and it's called jeansergegagnon.com right and this is what it looks like I can share the screen again there you go so this is my blog basically I post on every day I post the posts of each day in there and you know as a blog post of course uh, you can do there's so many different uh, platforms out there you can use uh wordpress this is a wordpress style post uh, blog uh, site there's other diff other kinds like wix for example which I think I might start using shortly but that's basically the blog post if I go back to this document so okay so then what I do is I create a short version of my blog after I've written the blog I take the blog post which takes me it, uh, you know it takes me 15 minutes or so to record the blog uh sometimes it, it can take longer really depends on your experience and how often you've done it the first time it could take you hours right so that's the thing you got to keep in mind that it's not always going to take you the amount of time it's taking you when you first start and I'm not saying you have to do all this I'm just telling you what I'm doing and the kinds of things I do so I create a short text which is basically the first you know 10 or to 15 like <coughs> an amount of, of lines that makes sense for posts like Facebook and Instagram and and Twitter and LinkedIn and all that right uh then what I do is I because I'm in an internet and the location where I have low speed internet my internet isn't fast enough to do really good lives or things like that or even upload videos it takes a long time I actually upload the video to a cloud host uh, I have I'm a, like I said I'm a geek I got a ESX server online I I set up a anyways a remote access so basically I copy the file once to that server and after that I can use that remotely to do the rest I'll show you I'll show you in a second but basically if I have this is actually the this is actually the site that I'm on it's basically just as far as it you know it just looks like a regular website right I can go to LinkedIn my Click eCourse my my SoundCloud my Facebook uh, I do different things and I can actually um, you know run commands and things like that it's all remote that's basically you know one of the things that I do I use that to do the the remote stuff I'm not saying that you need that because if you have a good internet you don't need any of this stuff but basically then what I do is I need to find uh places in the video where I want to do a screenshot or I do I actually do a gif which is a, a moving image right like you saw in my blog let me see I have the blog here someplace uh no that's not what I want I have the blog um there's my there's my blog so I, I you see on my blog these are moving right these are not in videos they're just gifs they're grat or gifs or whatever you call them they're images that are a little bit of the video right and I use a tool called um ffmpeg and things like that to do this um but yeah so that's basically the the what I'm talking about here I do all these different things uh this part um I haven't done this yet but then I've a uh, soundcloud same thing and then uh then I go and I, I have a script that creates a trimmed version of the video basically here let me show you uh let's see can I show you that here let me see let's go back to the uh to the here let's go to the webcam okay let me just uh, look at this over here there's a script I have um mm -hmm let's see is that going to work can I do that um, okay so let's just show you this script so this is just the script that I did let's share the screen again obviously if you're listening to the audio you can't see this but it's just a script that allows me to do things uh, but if you're if you're doing it yourself and you want to install these tools and do it from the command line you basically have to do things like this right commands like this right to get a thumbnail and then convert it to a certain size and if I look at for example I also have a uh, mp4 to gif this is what the I got this online from somebody right so basically a script that does an ffmpeg here with frames and gif height and stuff and basically what it does is it takes a part of the video the part that I want you know if I go through a, a 30 minute video I go find the spot I, I don't know a 12 minute five seconds 
I go get that and that what that does is it takes uh you know 30 frames from the video and then it puts them all together into a gif so then when you put it in an email or you put it on your blog post it looks like a little video instead of just a screenshot right which is what you get on YouTube right uh, so that's what that is uh, the next thing is I upload the video to YouTube right so if I show you this over here um so if I go to my YouTube right over here I just upload it right I go create upload video I select the file I want and then I just up upload it right if I go into here I got different my different videos I did right and then I just select the video and I upload it right after I do that let's cancel that <clears throat> of course after I do that um yeah so that's uploading the video let's just put that back over here um then uh, I put a title with this uh and then I finalize my blog post the reason why I do that is because when I first create the blog post I don't have the video online so I can't include it in the blog post but I need the blog post to text to be able to put in the description of the video right so that's if I show you again so my video this is the thing there's a couple of things right there's lots of stuff that I've learned over the years that you need to do but obviously I can't show you I can't tell you all this right now but you know when you do the video you got to have uh what's what is it the name of the file should be your uh what they call your topic you should have your topic at the top you should have your topic inside the, the title you should have um what else is there that I was just going to say yeah so the the text here has to be you know has to be a little bit at least and the, and then I'm I use this right I say read more at with the link to the to the blog post itself right uh so that's on LinkedIn so let's put that back over here um and then after I've published it then I can edit the blog post and I can add the video to it so that it's at the top right I add a featured image I add a shareable image for video and Twitter I publish it and then I add the link to the URL uh, for the DNS to work right then I finalize the YouTube video I publish it I don't post it I post it unlisted then I update it and publish it right then I upload to Click eCourse I also have uh here let me show you I also have on Click eCourse that's my website I have a course called CIS for Alexa which is basically um the sh the shorter version as you can see they're minute 50 for each of the videos when I run that script and when I extract so I take the longer video 15 minutes I take the first minute or minute 50 seconds and I append to it a uh that some text uh, well it's actually a video that I'm reading so let me show you what that is if I go into my folder let's go back to the webcam if I go into my folder here uh yeah so I got an image like this <coughs> oh let's go back here so I have an image like this at, at the end which I created a video for basically just says it's part of an episode from course income secrets well you'll hear it at well if you're listening to this on Alexa you'll hear it at the end well you can't be listening to this Alexa because we're past the two minutes but <laughs> you'll hear you'll hear it on one of those on the on LinkedIn or Instagram or Alexa you're going to hear this but it also says to watch or listen to the rest of this episode by clicking the link in the description of the comments you can also check out my entire library so that's basically what I have on the uh that's an image I have <clears throat> and then what else do I have I have also in here of course income secrets so if I look at say for example the video or the episode from yesterday uh you'll see that I have a here let's make this as uh, where's the view, 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 view details details there okay so you'll see that I have the full video here which is a can you see that it's kind of small to see but anyways the full video here which is a 16 minute video from yesterday right then I have the wave that I use to upload to SoundCloud then I have the gif and the jpeg which are the thumbnail for YouTube and the gif for my blog post or for uh, email lists then I have the SoundCloud image which is an 800 by 800 and then I have the trimmed video and the trimmed wave file so the trimmed video is for the CIS Alexa course which basically allows me to host it uh, on my own um, 
server so that I can have a, a, an RSS feed for Alexa and of and then I have different little pieces of text to uh anyways to use with the scripts basically it's the full of the text that's in the blog and then the shorter text that I use it in the different posts right all right so that's that then after I've uploaded both of these videos to uh, the course income secrets uh, course on Click eCourse and the Alexa skills CIS course on Click eCourse after that I upload the full video to Facebook page so I go um, on Facebook let me just share this again so I go on Facebook here and I upload it I just do another video let's close this one because that's so I just you know post it on Facebook uh, I've tried doing lives you know and that kind of stuff but um, I found that there's a you know the thing is that be, the lives from a recorded video that is alive I, I'm doing that using OBS it's not as effective because somebody comes on here thinking that I'm actually really live and they're posting comments and I'm not replying right uh in in the video right but anyways that's one of the things and uh, the thing that I do here is I upload from okay then I do the LinkedIn here let me show you the LinkedIn one or what I do for LinkedIn yeah so for LinkedIn for LinkedIn I basically have a boilerplate text that I add to the bottom of every single one of my posts and then I put the short version of the text right which I did part of it and I put the video here the two minute the one minute 50 video and at the end of this video as you can see it says this and uh, invites people to go watch the longer video by looking at the comment and then I and then I add the link to the to the blog post in the comments right so that's basically what I do uh, so I do that on LinkedIn um let me see uh then I upload the full audio to SoundCloud so let's show you that here so on SoundCloud is basically the course income secrets I'm uploading here so I just go and I say upload right upload over here uh and I upload it there to SoundCloud I just upload a file here I just mark it as a file and that's for a SoundCloud and then I share YouTube to Facebook story I share my Facebook video to groups a couple of groups I share my LinkedIn post to six groups and then I copy the trimmed video to my phone I do that because I use that on IGTV so let me just show you I guess I can show you I can probably show you right here let me just see if I can go to instagram.com I don't know what it really looks like on here oh he's gonna ask me to secure my account hold on here where's that at it's right here so let's put the number there so that's on Instagram no that's fine he's saying it's suspicious that's because I haven't used this computer for that so let's just go back here what oh I put in the wrong code here sorry it's the old code there we go <coughs> it's going it's loading okay so if I I'm not even sure what this will look like but if I go here and I go to my page um yeah you're going to see I basically post these um these as um IGTV videos right so I post these uh, IGTV if I look at the last one I did here again it's the one minute 51 that's there and if I play it you're going to see it's going to show the whole video like that right and I post the same text and I post something here that says to read more right and then I post the link by I know and I know in Instagram you got to copy it but at least it's there and I post hashtags right so that's one of the things I do with Instagram so that's Instagram all right what else is going on 
then uh this I haven't done I haven't done these ones these are the things that I have to start doing soon uh basically that's uh yeah so that's so that's let's just go back to the to the to the to the video yeah so I mean that is the process that I go through I do all these things now if you want specific help on specific things let me know I would love to maybe you know maybe I'm going to do a, an, an episode on just one of these things right but you know if you're trying to build an audience online trying to sell courses trying to create content for your MLM for for any online business you need to be doing some of this stuff I'm not saying you have to do it all but you definitely need to be doing some of it all right so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time